Greetings YouTube, I'm Master Moses, and welcome to another exciting episode of my Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. That was a mouthful. Last time we left off, we had just added what was originally going to be a cast form, but turned into Nostalgia for Alligator, the first starter I ever had, who we added to the team. Ah, you were just young, you were just looking like Jay? Yeah, I bet you do, kid. Maybe then your family won't abandon you when bad guys come. Maybe then they would love you. And Elixir, yay! Alright. Is this a new route yet? It seems like a new route. I am still in Route 119. Looks like it's gonna be Route 119 the rest of the way to Fortree. I don't think there's anything I can really catch in Fortree either. Some 120, 121, before I get the little cut. Alright. I mean, I still got some laps to go. Some laps? Some routes. I don't even know what I was trying to say there. Oh, it's me. Hey, Moses, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready with the fucking line? Of course you are. Go! Um, did I heal? I really hope I healed. I suppose we'll find out in a second if I healed. Really? She got Hellhound! I wanted Hellhound! What's this level? Level 29? Alright. Oh, I should have given Surf to Nostalgia. Um, since I didn't, I'm gonna go ahead and give this to Rock and Roll. This would have been a great chance for Nostalgia to bust onto the scene, but it knows Water Gun is its current water move, which is not enough. You know what? Oh, let it howl, but then I'm gonna give this Hellhound a rating. Hellhound, I give you only a 5. Cause you were a jerk, and you picked her. That's not enough to shake you, I suppose. That bite be a decent bit. Fine, I'll give that bite an 8. You improved my thoughts of you. But not by enough, because you... You didn't like me, and you roared at me. And that was rude. Roar is highly irritating in an Ezlock. Jump Luff, really? May, you are going for the most painful choices you can. This is just plain rude. I'm gonna bring Hyas in here. We're gonna poison this thing. Jump Luffs are just... They're just dandy. I'm gonna mention I dealt with that one back at Norman's gym, or was it Dr. Bob or something like that? Which that thing is a pain. I'm hoping this one is a little bit easier to manage. So far it's missed with a couple statuses. If I can just poison this thing, then it's gonna be a whole lot easier. Dang it, it does have Leech Seed. I was hoping it wouldn't, because that was what made the last one such a pain. And she has another Pokemon after this, too, so I've got to be careful not to devote too much. Yes, I got the Poison. I'm going to switch, because Leech Seed will just keep it going. The good news, and I mentioned this, I think, last time, too, but I probably mentioned just about everything last time, um, is that it takes the Poison damage before it heals, so... That's good, I suppose. We'll switch out for On the Wall. I really hope this. Oh, you went there. Uh, why do you do this? Just why you do it? Oh, the leech seed, of course you are. Alright, well maybe if I can get off a rock tomb and lower that thing's speed somewhere, I might be dealing with leech seeds coming at me first turn and dealing with statuses first turn and this and that and whatnot. Come on. Oh, um, let's try for leech seed. I guess they were predicting the switch. They predicted wrong, didn't ya? I'm just gonna sit here napping and not do nothing. Will be in my health. Why don't you? Did it just kill more than it took? 
Oh, they keep predicting that switch. That's the good news, is they're not really doing anything to me. Meanwhile, it's being annoying and taking my health. Meanwhile, I'm still asleep. Come on, on the wall, I need you to wake up, because I need you to deal some damage before your health gets too low and I have to switch you really. Woke up. It's rock to him. There we go. We got the crit. With a super critical. Do it. On the wall leveled up. Pinus did not level up. We got a Gyarados. So we are going to switch. Oh gosh. I need to get Highness in there. Because Highness can deal with this thing. But I'm going to have to heal. I think Highness should be able to take a hit. Gyarados makes me very, very, very nervous, though. I've learned the hard way that it can do a lot of damage in not a lot of time. Okay, we're going to Soda Pop. Come on, Highness. Just hang in there. Thrash. Oh, they're starting it. No. Okay, Highness is hanging in there. We are just gonna soda pop the heck out of this thing. Maybe once the confusion sets in, I'll have kind of a buffer. Heck, maybe they'll even... Yes! I was gonna say maybe they'll even get the poison point, and they did. Before I could even say it, they did. Excellent. Looks like I am going to get hit by a third thrash, though, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Come on. So now I'll just heal up. Now that it's confused. And then the next round, I'll try to land a shockwave. So if I can land a shockwave, then everything is going to be good. You did. Oh, they went for another thrash. They're gonna be that guy. Alright, well you know what? They're for sure gonna be locked into that, assuming they managed to hit me. So I'm gonna switch over to Rock and Roll, who's gonna resist the heck out of that. And if they get locked into a third one, then maybe I'll get off an attack. Well, it hurt itself, though. So there's... There's that. Let's see here. Ah, uh, so that actually creates more of a dilemma. So I don't really want to risk attacking because we got that water type. But now I can't switch into Highness because I didn't heal it. I don't want to risk nostalgia. Ah, uh, this is a dilemma. Alright, I'm just going to heal up. Rock and roll and risk it. Rock and roll's got some pretty good defenses. Come on, snapped out of confusion. Of course it did. Use Dragon Rage. I am. That's a move that makes me nervous, but I'm actually okay with it. Simply because of the fact that it did less than half a bite. It makes me nervous, but this should finish it. Yes, excellent. Gyarados is down without me losing anything, which is a huge relief. Huge! Thrash is such an overpowered move, and that Gyarados has had it for so long already. Got some level ups there. Marcellus. Aha! What, what, what is that? Like a sneeze? A cough? A snuff? Moses, you're strong! I was worried that you might be struggling with your training, so I decided to see if I could kill your pets. But I had absolutely nothing to worry about. Keep it up, and here I have a present for you. HMO2, it's Fly, if I recall. Yeah, 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 it's Fly, what am I saying? It's Fly, and Pokemon Wins gonna carry you in town, you've already visited, but you just fly out to get a jet badge from your project city, that's a bunch, so don't forget! You can fly up and visit Lori for a chance, I bet your mom's worried about you. Oh, you're gonna bring mothers into this? Well, I bet your father's not worried about you. This has been again somewhere! Okay. Ha ha ha! Way to go, Moses. I just passed by a trainer riding a bike. You just beat that trainer. 
didn't you? It was pretty obvious that you did. The kid looked really upset with her face all red from anger. Jeez, she took it a little bit seriously. I sure seem to run into you often, kind of stalking me. Are you out for four tree gym next? I expect that you'll do well at the gym. Well, I'll be seeing you. Okay. Hey, Moses Webster here. You know the Pokemon Cedra? I came close to getting one. It was just a while back. I thought I had it, but it escaped. If I see it again, I'll get it for sure, though. Okay, catch you later. Okay, who calls their friend to be like, Yeah, I almost did something cool. I'm just gonna take a quick opportunity to heal up. Can't remember if there's any patches of grass or trainers the rest of the way to poor tree. And just in case, I will be prepared. I'm just awesome that way. Also, it just occurred to me as I stepped out here that I am in Route 119. However, static Pokemon, I am not counting toward the, um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the first catch rule. Well, static Pokemon are one thing, actually. Because I take that back. I, I said static Pokemon, but I meant gift Pokemon. Static Pokemon, like a legendary? Yeah, I'll, I'll see. I'll kill it if I bought anything else. I mean, you know, they won't be legendary, most likely, but... Eh. But just in general. But, like, gift Pokemon, that's a different story. For example, technically, you know, that's the only Pokemon that I received inside the Weather Institute. So, there. Alright, so Meta's just trying to confuse Q over here. Hey! You got a fluffy wing. I know. That just seemed confusing. But then, it really wasn't all that confusing. Just kind of like that confusion, too. See how I was confused, but it, uh, it didn't leave me confused. Come on, cutie, finish it. Finish it. Alright. Meditite is down. I think this is the only Pokemon this trainer had, too. QT gets a decent bit of experience there. Artisan Cammy has been defeated. You show me who's the boss. We'll have to take the loss. Oh, no! Yeah! Right. I just felt like they their speech should be put to music. To lurk in shadows and live in darkness. That is my destiny. Behind mismatched tree symbols. I emerged to challenge you. What do you mean you emerged to challenge me? I walked over next to you and talked to you. Dancer Mia. Other train with only one Pokemon. I'm okay with this. It's a Torkoal though, so I will need to switch out QT. Just occurred to me I still need to give Nostalgia Surf. But I'll go ahead and switch out to Nostalgia anyway. Because this is a close enough level where it doesn't make a ton of difference. Plus, with Nostalgia holding that mystic water it randomly came with, are you gonna paralyze me? Are you gonna be like that, Torkoal? I see how it is. Nostalgia's back sprite is very interesting. Um, is that a ridge on its back? Or, um, Oh, there went my childhood. So they're gonna curse because Torkoal was very rude, either that or it just noticed the same thing Nostalgia did. Or that I noticed about Nostalgia, anyway. Alright, well, Torkoal is down. All is well. QT gets a decent bit of experience, actually. That was not bad. Me is I admit defeat. Thank you for for clarifying that you meant defeat because otherwise I was concerned that you would just like kind of keep on going. Oh, apparently they can't see me from a distance. I thought they would only notice me if I went right from them. To hide, use a forest and a poorly made sign to hold in front of you. Well, my name is Dancing Kim. Oh, another Torkoal. Uh, that's interesting though that it randomized them both with a Torkoal. 
Alright. Let's see here. Do I wanna... I'll give this one to Fluffy, just because Fluffy could use the level as well. After this, I'll see if I have, like, a Paralyzed Heal. Well, actually, after this, I'll wait and see if there's any other trainers and stuff between me... Oh, well. <sighs> what is with Torkoals and leading with that move and doing that to me? It is just plain rude. You ain't got me so rude. Don't even know I'm a trainer, too. I ain't gonna be so rude. I'm gonna karate chop you anyway. Yeah! That did less damage than I was hoping for. Alright, well, we will give this one. Uh, we'll give this one on the wall. On the wall. Oh, can you use some rock moves? I was gonna say rock and roll, but on the wall is two levels behind rock and roll, so may as well divvy it up a little bit, share the wealth. I'm gonna put this thing inside of a rock too. Even that didn't do much damage. Torkoal is so bulky, and I know that's the point, obviously. And it's just sitting there cursing at me. Hey, calm down, Torkoal. I'm just uh, bl I'm just blowing smoke, just kind of like you are. <laughs> Torkoal. It's a little slow. This is a turtle. Or a tortoise. Okay. Ut gets some experience on the wall, gets some experience. Fluffy gets some experience. Ray Quaza! <sighs> Rock and roll it is. Should be able to do a decent bit with a rock throw. Uh, the good news is it's also only level 25. The Dragon Claw, let's see how that does. Ouch, gosh. Five levels lower than me, it does that much damage. Alright, I should be able to land one more. You're gonna scary face me. Oh no, it's terrifying. But that's okay. Because, rock throw. Rayquaza has fallen! I have defeated the series, this game's mascot, so does that mean I win? Because I think it does. Who knew that it belonged to a little kid playing ninja? What kind of berries are these? And two Komeg berries. Komeg, Komeg, Komeg. Berries, oh my berries. It's one of those random ones, I think. It's one of those where it's like, yeah. Oh, oh, that's the one that lowers their health. No, no, I don't need them to be that friendly with me. There we go. There's that item over there, but I'm too lazy to backtrack as far as that would take. On running. There we go, we've made it to Fortress City, which means this is a perfect time to heal. Then I will hit the Poke Mart because I need plenty of items. And there we go. Oh, let's see again. Get everything to stay in the hospital. Yada yada yada. Joke I've made like every time. Yada yada yada. Pokemon. Welcome, how may I serve you? Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, let's see your antidote. Do I have any? Yes, I have 14. Alright. Let's see here. We are just gonna go ahead and buy forty super potions. And... 15 Hyper Potions. 
and... 10 Ultra Balls. I don't mind things like Paralyzed Heal. I'll take two Paralyzed Heals, because Paralysis is no fun. Come on, Awakening. Take two Awakenings. Awakening is sleeping no fun. Anything else I need while I am here? No. Anything to sell, when you think of it. I know it's not super thrilling watching me shop, but these are the things that must be done. These are the times that try men's souls. Ah, no, I don't want to sell the burn here. I'll keep that, I'll keep that. Sell the revive. It does me no good. Sell the orange mail. The X attack that I will never use. The dire hit, which I will also pretty much never use. Oh no, I don't want to sell that. I don't know if I have really anything that can help out, but sell these two stardusts because they are not ghost rare. They were not able at any point to sacrifice themselves to protect my Pokemon that were going to be destroyed, so they were not fulfilling their purpose. Alright, now, let's go ahead and see your soft sand. Oh no, I don't want to use that, I want to give it. Let's go ahead and give soft sand to rock and roll. Any other healing, or not healing items, but useful items. Miracle Seed. I don't have any grass moves in my team. Anything else? TMs and HMs. One thing, Surf! Surf to Nostalgia. No Surf. <laughs> Go ahead and get rid of Leer. I mean, I could get rid of Water Gun, but may as well keep it. Just for the sake of power points, if I'm like out in the wild or something. I don't know. Can I on the wall and fly? Yes, it can. Oh, and QT, of course, can. What am I saying? We can get QT to fly. This is just kind of being one of those crap episodes. I'm not doing a ton off screen this series, so. And then. I think that's it as far as HMs that I need. Overheat. Thief. Nah, no, double team, no. Nah, none of those TMs are really ones that I care about using. Well. There are already 23 minutes. Well, let me take this one call open. Hi! Hey there! This is Pike! How are your Pokemon holding up? Mine just won a battle! The elevator was spectacular, I must say. I wish I could have shown you. It was 3.14 times my expectations. See you again! Alright, well... Now that we've had that riveting conversation... I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Now that we've done a lot of preparation and stuff. Uh, so, definitely feel free to leave me a like and a comment down below. I appreciate it immensely. I appreciate it even immensely more if you go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button because that means you'll be able to see all the future episodes and you'll see how this all ends up and hopefully it ends up for the best. Um, but for right now, this episode has ended up for the best, so I'd like to thank you all personally, but I can't because that would take forever to thank every person individually, and I don't even know if that would be possible, seeing as this is being recorded before it's uploaded, it's not live. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and for right now, this is Master Moses, signing out.